I'm going to show you how to connect a direct bank feed to zero. Now, here we are on the chart of accounts. I do highly recommend that you connect bank feeds directly here instead of on the accounting tab and bank accounts. There are two different ways that you can do that. But the reason that I highly recommend you do it here is because is because you'll see that a couple of these accounts, my you know, bank account that's fake and also my checking account here, both of these have account codes. However, notice that these other bank accounts that I have up here do not have account codes. And it may not seem like a big deal, but when you integrate other solutions, reporting solutions, payroll solutions, and in particular payroll solutions, uh, potentially even bill pay solutions, they oftentimes require that you have an account code assigned to your bank account for it to work. So make sure that you have that in there. And that's why you want to do that here on this screen. So let's go ahead and add a bank account. And search for the, the bank account that you are connecting. You want to make sure to log in with the banking details that were given to you by your client um, or your third party accounting credentials, and then you'll be able to connect it. I'm going to skip over the login piece and I'll see you on the other side. Certain bank accounts will require a multi-factor authentication number. So watch out for those numbers. It'll ask you to authorize the bank accounts that you would like to, to pull into zero. Once you select all the accounts that are applicable, you'll end up on this screen here. So these three accounts, you can decide whether you want to pull in the feeds to zero or not. This action in bulk. So maybe you want to create feeds for all three of these accounts. Uh, maybe you don't want to connect any of them, but uh, and I'm not going to show you this drop down simply because the full account number does show. But if you click on this drop down number, you can elect to create a new bank account. Let's go ahead and actually just apply bulk action, create new three new bank accounts in zero. And so that's what it's going to look like if you decide to add all three, three of them to zero. Now let's click the continue button. And this is a really important screen. So make sure not to skip over this. This is where I've seen partners skip over this because you just want to click continue, click next and finish. However, in doing so, you miss an opportunity to import the number of transactions that you need for from a certain date. So you can see here that the transactions are being pulled in from June 1st, 2024. But let's say I want to do some cleanup, right? There's a lot of bank accounts that offer up to a year's worth of data that you can pull in. So instead of having to ask the client now for a year's worth of data, we can simply click on the date and let's see how far back we can go. So it looks like it's allowing me to go back to December 12th of 2022, but maybe let's just try it from January 1st, 2023, and then we'll click finish. So at this point, zero will do its magic. It's, it may take a little bit of time pulling all that data into the system. So make sure that when the data does pull through that you just do a quick check by running the reconciliation report, finding the ending balance and then matching it against the last bank statement balance to ensure that everything imported properly and that you've also set the correct conversion balances. If you need help, there's another video on double checking the conversion balances to make sure that it's correct before you start reconciling. That's going to save you a lot of time and hopefully a lot of pain. So that's how you connect a direct bank feed in zero.